Hi guys, you here from Blend the Brass and in this video I'm gonna share with you an amazing tip that will save you a lot of time. Let's go. If you would like to learn more about add-on workflow, especially hard ups and box cutter, I highly recommend our free course, Sci-Fi Terminal Design in Blender, which will teach you a lot about hard ups, box cutter, and how to work with hard surfaces and add-on in Blender. It's a free course, link in the video description. Okay, so let's say you have this kind of a shape where you have a, you know, just a simple boolean and you want it to run a bevel here on this edge. So click, alt, click, control B and just, you know, create a small bevel and you're good to go. And everything looks great. Uh, so you move on with your modeling and then later on, you know, you go to edit mode and you notice something like this happened. And it's a problem because when you go to face orientation, so alt V and face orientation with hard ups, or you click here and check this box here if you don't have hard ups for whatever reason um, you will notice that uh, you will have this kind of a face flipped in here because what happened here this edge was pulled over um, this area and literally flipped this face so it just flipped it inside out okay and I turned the corner because when you look here inside this mesh you see that everything is red, right? Because uh, geometry has two sides, the uh, inner side and outer side. This is a correct side, this is an incorrect side. So if geometry is flipped inside out, it means that normals are actually flipped. So you have the inner part of geometry poking outside. So basically the guts are sticking out, okay? To put it simply. So what you wanna do is you wanna avoid situations like this because this is gonna cause shading problems texturing problems, beveling problems, all kinds of problems, okay? If I have this face flipped, for example, here, so I'm gonna flip it intentionally, um, you'll see that if I'm gonna run a bevel through it, it's just not gonna work, right? See, it's flipped, so I need to flip it back uh, to where it was uh, to actually have the bevel behave properly. So it's, you know, it's, it's a problematic um, situation, and this is really hard to fix manually. So my tip for you is to keep this uh, face orientation turned on at all times. The only problem is that in Vanilla Blender, uh, by default, you will also have everything else marked in crazy purple. Now to turn that, you know, thing off, uh, you want to go here to themes and 3D viewport, right? And go here to this tool, face orientation front. And you want to turn that alpha from one Okay, it's psychedelic to zero. And all you're gonna be able to see, and save prefs, yeah? All you're gonna be able to see is the uh, flipped geometry. And so I, usually when I work, I have this turned on at all times. So, you know, when I spot something like this, I'm gonna be like, oh, hello, I need to fix this shit. So now there is a way of fixing this after you actually notice it uh, sometime later. And you would need to use mesh machine for that link in the video description by the way to all the add-ons so now here you could click on that press y and unbevel and magic happens now because the you know vertices were moved you can see that the distance between uh, you know these um vertices now it's uneven it's different here and you know it's uneven on the bottom so what you can do is select this entire edge so click alt click with mesh machine then go to vert mode Install add-on called Loop Tools, which comes with Blender. Right-click and go to Loop Tools and then Space. It will evenly space them across this surface. Then what you want to do is you want to move this edge to the middle. And the easy way to do that will be to use Mirror with Mesh Machine. So Alt-X, Mirror to the left side and Bob Janko. And then, you know, click, Alt-click and you can bevel. And you can see that. You know, there are no problems. Well, there's a problem here on the top, but I probably have some double verts. Press 3 to clean it. That didn't work. Let's just do that. Uh, let me just connect this properly here. There we go. Let's try it again. So click, alt click, and... Wow, still pulling. Hang on. What the hell is happening here? There's a double edge here, right? Yeah, there we go. Remove that. Click, alt click, and boom. There you go. See, so what you want to do is you want to run edges that are perpendicular to the vert that you're going to be beveling. So if you're going to be beveling this edge, right, this one, 
you want this edge to be perpendicular to this vert okay perpendicular 90 degrees here right do you see what i mean so then you're sure that none of this edge is going to get pulled another way of fixing this um, would be to run a bevel like this and then go here and turn off the loop slide okay it's kind of the same thing but this will move this edge which sometimes may not be you know desirable so all right guys well that's it that's my tip for you for working on a hard surface thanks for watching see you in the next one